Okay, so the leather is cased. Uh, it's, we're going to keep this one a little bit more moist. We're not going to let it go all the way back to the original uh, color of the leather. I just want to start, because as I start with this beveling, I want it to be a little bit softer uh, for this portion of what I'm doing. So with this, I'm just going to first start with this guy right here. Uh, it is a Craft Tool B22R. Um, as you can see here, and it's a little harder to focus even on that. Uh, it's got a little bit of groove. It's got a little bit of texture to it. And all I'm wanting to do when I first start is get everything popped off the leather. Okay. So I'm going to start with this big flower here. And we're going to start here in this section that right is where we tapered off and I am going to use similar principles where I'm going to start soft and get more and more intense with my strikes. So I'm trying not to cover up too much. So as you see, I'm going to start off soft and get more and more almost insistent with my strikes. Soft. And hard. And I'm really trying to make sure I get good depth here. With this Sheridan style, it really is about the depth. That's going to cause this thing to really stand out. So I can just drop this back in. And there you see it. Already that leaf is starting to pop off from this background. And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to keep going around this entire thing like that. Ooh, I grabbed the wrong guy. <laughs> It's like that, that design looks different. And the reason why we've got that, right, the knife cutting with the swivel knife is it gives a groove for our tool to write in. That's all there is to it, to tooling and beveling this. It's just going around this flower. And I'm going to do this portion first to the entire thing everything around here that I feel needs to be lifted off the belt. It'll get this treatment. So once I get through that, we'll come back and show you what that all looks like. Okay, we'll be back soon.
and one side is finished. I just wanted to show you this portion right here. You kind of see the difference between this uh, beveled side and this unbeveled side and just kind of what you're going to be wanting to look for. This has got a pretty good depth to it. That way it's really going to pop off the back of this leather. And that's kind of what we're really wanting to shoot for when beveling. There's still a lot left to do for this. Obviously we have to do the uh, entire other side, but with Sheridan style tooling, we're going to be getting into uh, some backgrounding and that's where basically all these areas in between different portions we're going to be you know doing basically taking this little this little guy here and just putting in these areas to really knock them even further back so you're really kind of pounding them in and putting them in the background that's the name backgrounder um there's also a lot of us extra things we're going to be doing to these leaves to really pop them off. Um, and we'll get to that in the next video. All right. This is where the real work begins. do it that is all of our beveling everything is in as you can see here what we've done is just taken that beveler and popped everything off the leather and really made it stand out we had a really made this medallion with this three it's really kind of jumped off it looks really nice one thing we all right did was left basically these is just cut lines these are decorative lines in it we didn't bevel those like we would a lot of the other cut lines are going to be more kind of decorative one thing i haven't really decided yet is whether or not i'm gonna um background this area or maybe paint it or something like that we've got some acrylic paints that we can that we are going to use on this medallion to kind of give this some color compared to everything else and everything else will just die um with a good highlight and brown but we'll get that to that in the dyeing section so what's next what's next is basically really taking this into the sheridan style Right now, it's just kind of a nice beveled uh, piece. Things are popped off. But now we're going to really get into the detailing work, the things that are really going to make this shine. So that's going to be taking this area here and both of these flowers and giving them a seed and really backgrounding a lot of this stuff, doing some more detail work here in these leaves and actually using a tool to kind of dig into leather and lift it up some so you'll get these really cool raised pieces so that'll be our next step as we're going to start doing some shared in style it's a uh, first time for me and i've you know done as much research on the style as i can um, to really do it for this piece so feel free in addition to watching these videos go on youtube search out any uh, other masters on how to do the Sheridan style and just kind of absorb it. And if this is something you want to do, if something you want to learn, well, good luck to you and good luck to me because I'm going to need it. All right. Oh, so now the question is where to start. <laughs>